Welcome back. Can you remember my name? It was Mrs. Harris. It's lovely to see you again. Can you remember the activity I left you with last time? That's right, it's this one on the screen where I asked you to fill purses with the same amount of money but a different type of coin in each purse. I did lots of different options, but here's one of my favourites. I made 20p in each purse. Did you notice the same thing I did? That the lower the values of the coins, the more of them I need to make a total value. Look how many 1p coins I needed to make 20p compared to how many 10p coins I needed. A lot more. In fact, here there's 21p coins and here there's just two 10p coins. I hope you got on all right with that. I'd love to see some pictures one day. Today we're going to be using lots of different coins. I've got some in these purses here. Before we move on to what we're learning today, I thought we could just check quickly that we can remember what the value of each coin. So here I have my five pence coins and I would like you to say this stem sentence with me. I say five pence, but I think five one pennies. Fantastic. This one is my one penny coin. We don't need to use a sentence for that one. Next, I've got my 10 pence coin. Let's pop that into the sentence. I say 10 pence, but I think 10 one pennies. Thanks for that, it'll be helpful. I like learning about money because it'll help me when I go shopping. Let's pretend we're going shopping today. I wonder what we could buy with the coins in this purse. Here's the lovely things we could buy. We've got a lovely dinosaur, a teddy, or a lovely aeroplane, a nice boat, ooh, and a drum. But I'm not sure what I could buy yet. I think I'm going to need to count the coins. Can you see which type of coin they are? Yeah, they're one piece, one penny, one pence coins. Let's count them. One one penny, two one penny, three one pennies, four one pennies, five one pennies, six one pennies, seven one pennies, eight one pennies, nine one pennies. Let's just count them again. One P, two P, three P, four P, five P, six P, seven P, eight P, nine P. Did you notice how I moved them as I counted them? That really helps me when I'm counting. Make sure you do it when you practice too. I'm still not quite sure what I could buy at the moment. Let's use our stem sentences to work it out. There are, oh, I forgot to put the number in. There are coins. How many coins are there? Oh, yeah, there are nine coins. Each coin has a value of 1p. This is 9p. Thanks for your help there. So I've got 9p. What could I buy with 9p? Can you help me? Okay, you think I know what I can buy? Let's find out if we're right. Not the dinosaur. Not the drum. Not the boat. The bear or the aeroplane? Oh, it's the bear. With my 9p, I can buy this teddy bear that costs 9p. Thanks for your help there. I've got another purse here, and I want to find out what I can buy with this purse. 
Let me just check how many coins I've got. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six coins. But they're not one pennies anymore, are they? No, they're five pence coins. I say five pence, but I think five, one, pennies. Going to do some counting so I can work out what I can buy this time. Are you ready? One five pennies, two five pennies, three five pennies, four five pennies, five five pennies, six five pennies. I've got six five pennies. I like counting like we just did. I know I've got six five pennies but this time I'm going to count in fives and as I count in fives I'm going to put the word P after it after each number. Let's do it together. 5P, 10P, 15P, 20P, 25P, 30P. Let's bring all that information together like we did last time so we can work out what I can buy this time. We know that there are six coins. Can you say it for me? Each coin has a value of 5p. Well done. This is 30p. So what can I buy with my 30p? Have a look at my items at the top. Okay, not the dinosaur. Not the aeroplane. The boat? Oh, this is 30p. The price tag says 30p. Can I buy the boat? Yes, I can buy the boat. Thanks for your help again. Brilliant, another purse. We can go shopping again. So, what are the coins in this purse? Have a little look. Oh yes, there are five pence coins again. We're great at counting in fives. Let me just pop our five pence into this sentence up here though because it really helps me remember their value. I say five pence, but I think five one pennies. Brilliant. Now this time, when I count my five P coins, I'm not going to move them. I'm just gonna to touch them this time. So are you ready to count with me? Lovely, thank you. One five penny, two five pennies, three five pennies, four five pennies, five five pennies, six five pennies, seven five pennies, eight five pennies, nine nine five, nine five pennies. Oh, that one was tricky to say. So I've got nine five pence coins. Thanks. Let's just count them again. This time, I won't move them either but we'll count in our fives. We'll do our skip counting. 5p, 10p, 15p, 20p, 25p, 30p, 35p, 40p, 45p. This is 45p. I can see you already looking to see what I can buy, but let's just wait till we've put them in our sentences like last time. I think maybe you know what we could buy already with the coins in this purse. But let's just pop everything into our stem sentences. There are nine coins. That's right, we counted them, didn't we? Each coin has a value of 5p. Thank you very much. This is 45p. Will you just say all these sentences for me? Brilliant. And I bet you know what we can buy now. What is it? 
That's right, it's the aeroplane for 45p. Thanks for your help again. This challenge is for you. I'd like you to work out, just like we have been, what I can buy with the coins in my purse. You've got all the information you need on this one screen. So pause the video and work out what I can buy. Welcome back. Did you fill in all these parts? Did you say, I say 10 pence, but I think 10 one pennies? Did you tell me that there are nine coins and that each coin has a value of 10 P? And then, did you work out that the total value of the coins in my purse are 90p. Well done. So then what did you decide I can buy with my 90p? <gasps> yes, the dinosaur. I can buy the dinosaur. But actually, I'm looking at the items in my in my shop and well, I could buy the dinosaur. 90p is the same as 90p, but I could buy the teddy because 90 is greater than 9. So 90p must be greater than 9p. I could buy the teddy bear <gasps> or I could buy the drum because 90 is greater than 18. 90p is greater than 18p. I've got enough money to buy the drum. 90p is greater than 30p. I could buy the boat. 90p is also greater than 45p. Wow, I've got enough money in my purse this time to buy one of anything in the shop. How exciting. But I think I am going to buy the dinosaur. He looks great fun. We've reached the end of our lesson now, but I'm going to leave you with a little challenge for you to practice before your next one. What I'd like you to do is look at the coins in this purse and work out what you could buy with the coins in this purse. Let's just have a closer look at the coins in the purse. <gasps> They're not all the same this time. How am I going to work out how much money I have all together so that I know what I can buy? I'd like you to try and work it out for next time. Mrs Waldron will be with you next time and she'll talk you through all the steps to solving a problem like this. Bye!